Hey, what's up guys? Matt Schiffel with American Made Exotics here. We're in the incubator. We got another clutch that started pipping last night and is ready to be cut today. So this one is a chocolate pastavi, 100% het pied that we bred to a leopard candy pied. So first babies we got from that boy and I'm looking forward to seeing this pairing and seeing what these babies look like. So let's, let's cut them open and take a look. Here's the one that came out overnight. This thing is cold looking. Like super cool looking. Very busy pattern. That's a boy. I couldn't resist it. Alright, so we'll get the uh get the flashlight here. Candle these so we don't hit a vein. So those two are already pipping. So one's already out and we got two others pipping. So by our standards, that means that we can snip these and we're not going to be cutting early. They should be as far along as the others. So probably, let me just snip these and we'll take a look at what we got. And I always can them to try to avoid nicking veins. So that's another pod. Looks like we got good luck with this one. As far as the odds go, hopefully we see some of that cool chocolate stuff in here. Dang, another pie. So, so far, four out of seven are pies. No, four out of six, dang. Let's see what's in these ones that we're picking. Wow, just killed it on odds with the pies here. So this was, wow, that's really cool too. So all those are pies. Wow, this one is too. So from candy pod to chocolate pastavi het pod, we uh, killed it on odds on the pods. Looks like six out of six are pods. The pod combo is 100% het candy. Super lucky. So we're gonna let these sit. This one looks amazing. I love how busy that pattern is on that pod. Very cool. All right, so we're gonna let these sit overnight and we're gonna let these other ones finish absorbing their yolk and uh, hopefully they absorb their yolk overnight and start coming out the egg and we'll be able to do an update video tomorrow before we put them in the hatchling rack. So uh, appreciate y'all watching. We'll be back soon with an update and we'll see exactly what we got in here. All right guys, this is 23BPC11, which was a chocolate pastavi, 100% het pied, bred to a candy pied leopard and obviously killed it on the odds with the pieds um everything was pied um there was another one a six egg and that was in the cutting video but it was actually a stillborn but it was a pied too um so that one didn't make it we do see that every once in a while full-term baby for whatever reason um just too weak to hatch probably wouldn't have thrived if it did but the ones that did come out are absolutely amazing looking um, some of these have these really funky patterns on them. And not sure if that's the, the chocolate influence in here. Right, look how busy that pie is. All that pattern on it. So this is a pastel pie with something else in it. Probably chocolate to be that busy. This one's a boy, and it's 100% hat candy. Here's another one with a ton of that pattern. This one is not pastel, though. This is the regular pied version. And again, I'm going to assume that's the pied chocolate that gave it that busy pattern and 100% hat candy. And that one is a boy. Here's a girl, which is pastel and equally as busy. She still has a tiny bit of yolk on her, so we're going to let this box sit in the incubator for the rest of the day before putting it up. This one is a female. 
Let's take a look at this one. So this one caught that Mojave. And from the color of the head, looks like it could have caught that chocolate too. And so this pie is 100% head candy as well. This one's a female. Very cool. And then here's a pied. Very busy pattern here. And that one's a boy as well. Pied head candy. It's a very cool looking clutch. I um, love the patterns on them. Love how busy these are. So it really turned out amazing. Happy everything's pied head candy. Um, so good odds on this one. But we're going to go ahead and sit this back in the incubator for probably the rest of the day. And let that last pie absorb that little tiny bit of yolk that's just not falling off. And we'll get these put up tomorrow. But I appreciate y'all watching. Until the next one.